I'm having trouble with this new bed which I made one month ago and we planted straight away the vegetables you can see here and for the first two weeks all looked well and then I started to notice things that weren't quite right and meanwhile I started a, a weed killer test using broad bean plants and it's on the cow manure I, I bought two batches of different composts broad bean is very sensitive to this weed killer look at the difference here so that's a broad bean transplant I already had growing in the mushroom compost which I purchased at that time compared to the cow manure which I purchased at the same time look at the difference and that's this is I'm, I'm putting this out here to inform you as much as anything because there's more of this stuff around than there should be it's a weed killer used by farmers to kill broadleafed weeds like docks nettles thistles and the, what's not susceptible to this weed killer is grass, so that's, which is monoecious plant. And therefore you could grow sweet corn here very successfully because it's not going to be affected. The other plant that's not affected by it or family is brassicas. So if you look at these turnips, they're looking really good. They've been in the ground for about a month, uh, two week old seedlings. And actually the lettuce not so much. And you can then see how as we get into the middle of the bed where there must be more of the cow manure or maybe the plants can't root anywhere else. That's where the damage is worse. I even pulled out the beetroot that was there. The onions are not looking happy. And you can see the difference between these beetroot closer to the middle and those ones closer to the edge. And likewise the pea. There's one pea plant there that actually looks almost okay. <laughs> that run right on the edge. Uh, but these are pretty much a goner. And that's rather like the broad bean. You know, very susceptible. Uh, peas, broad beans, tom tomatoes and potatoes. So look at this potato here. Are highly susceptible. I mean I, I'm quite impressed. It's, it must be a mild dose, believe it or not, from the time you see, um, because they're not completely killed. But it's an auxin growth promoter that just makes plants go kind of bonkers and they overgrow and then die if you... What we've done though is we've spread out the heap of horse manure, cow manure, <laughs> same thing was, uh, on the ground and uh, sunlight can dissipate or degrade this poison and I'm going to grow plant sweet corn in it and we'll see how it looks towards the end of the summer and f watch my long video which will come up on this on YouTube uh, in maybe about a month. 